Welcome! My name is Christine Wara and we're going to discuss how to mix different kinds of greens using watercolor pigments. So over here I have a cobalt blue and this is a French ultramarine blue. Uh, this one is by Windsor Newton and this one is made by Holbein. And then on, on this side I have a quinacridone gold made by Daniel Smith and a Hansa yellow medium which is also made by Daniel Smith. So there's two different kinds of yellows and two different color blues. And as you know, blue and yellow make green. So let's start with the cobalt blue. And we're going to apply it right on the paper and see what happens when we mix the cobalt blue, which is rather warm, with the quinacridone yellow, which is also very warm, and we have a nice combination of both pigments. And we're just going to melt it together right here on the paper and see what color green we get. Look at that beautiful green. Here's a nice green that we can find anywhere in nature. Now, it depends on, um, depending on how much yellow you have in it is going to determine how yellow green it is. And the same thing goes with blue. If you have more blue, it's going to be more blue green. So here's just one color combination of cobalt blue and quinacridone gold. Nice color combo. Now we're going to try this cobalt blue and mix it with the Hansa yellow and this yellow is it's got a very cool temperature to it so we're going to get a very different green and here we go now if I mix more blue with this green I'm going to get more of this color which is actually a very nice nice blue, blue-green. If I put more yellow in it, it's going to be more yellow-green. So each color has a bias and that means that it's either going to be cool or warm. And this color combo is much warmer than this one. It's a little bit cooler because of the cool yellow. Now I'm going to try the French ultramarine blue very different from the cobalt blue. I'll just put the cobalt blue up above it so that you can see the difference. And we're going to mix the, the blue with the quinacridone gold. Now I'm mixing my colors right on my paper and you can do that too. and it helps to really make a color chart with the colors that you have in your palette to see what kind of color combinations you can get. Um, this is a beautiful green, actually very deep. I like it. There's no right or wrong color. It's just a matter of how you want to apply the color in a painting. So if I take this a little further, this will be a richer yellow green and this is more of a blue green again I like mixing my paints right on the paper but you don't always have to do that for example I'm going to use my plate to show you the last color combination this is the French ultramarine blue now we're going to mix it with the Hansa yellow. And when we do that right here on the plate, we get the color green, just like that. Now if I wanted to add more blue to that green, I would just pick up some more pigment on my brush, put it on the 
plate, mix it, and then get it onto the paper. Another beautiful dark green. And if I wanted to make it a little more yellow green, I would add more yellow. Mix it on the plate, and then put it on the paper. It's always good to have a little bit of a test piece of paper as well when you're not sure what the color mix is going to be. But when you're playing and you're just trying to figure out what your colors will do for you, whatever colors you have in your palette, this is a good way to do it. Uh, one more thing, if you really want to get creative, you can wet your paper with, a, with clean water and then you can put in the blue Put in the yellow. Here I was using the quinacridone gold with the ultramarine blue. And you let it run together. And if it needs a little help, you can always get your spray bottle. And here we go. And let it run like that. So we do know that blue and yellow make green and what we're doing here today is just trying to look at different ways of making green using different blues and different greens or different blues and different yellows. Thank you for joining me.